Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. This video is going to be on how you can add multiple keyboards to your computer. Uh, so basically you have your keyboard and when you press a button that says Q, it might say uh, A. So you actually want to change the keyboard that uh, you have installed on your computer to something similar to the keyboard you actually have on your computer and what's drawn on it. So it will create a little language thing down here and you can just switch between the different keyboards. This works because uh, I mean my keyboard is in Danish but sometimes I need to put it in English to be able to press certain buttons. So I'm going to show you how you can add them or remove them if you think they're annoying. So it's actually really really simple. You just need to click the start button and then on control panel if it is not there on the start menu this is for Vista on XP it's really similar just go on properties now st go on start menu and start menu and customize then find the control panel and make sure it says display as link or display as menu I like it as a link and just OK and apply and OK then it should be right here and just click it really okay so we're now inside our control panel if you have it in classic view just click control panel home that way it's easier to organize now you will go to the setting that says clock language and region click that and inside you'll see change the country or region change date change the date time or number format change keyboards or input methods Okay, just click change keyboards or input methods and you'll be brought to the keyboards and languages tab. Just click change keyboards. Now, when you're inside here, you'll have come to the general tab. Now, first of all, if you have multiple ones already and you want to set a default one and you think it's annoying that sometimes it starts with the Danish one that you might have, you probably don't, but and you want to start with the American one really easy just ch click the one you want it to be and apply that way it's that one who, that will start with the computer also now it ha you can see they're in the, they're in a specific order right so what we can do is we will just click this one and move it down that way English is on top let's click apply as you can see it hasn't changed the keyboard we just set it to but when you see here the English is the top one so I want to move this one up and apply and as you can see it is back now okay to add a keyboard is really simple just click add now find the keyboard you want so if you're Danish just click Danish then go on keyboard and take Danish default and the ink correction will probably be set to it as well now I'll just take I don't know I have American English so I'll just take English English and well when you click other you'll have incorrection usually checked I'll just check it I don't know what it does but it's useful in some way now click it and you'll have multiple ones now and you can set the default thing to a lot of different ones really but if you're tired of it just click remove and apply and done okay then uh, another thing is the language bar you can have the language bar docked in the taskbar as I have right now or floating on desktop there then it will be up here I don't really like that it's kind of taking up the space so docked in taskbar is best uh, you have the different settings mine is unchecked unchecked checked or check for show text lab labels on language task or language bar um, also to turn off caps lock I like to just press the caps lock key not the shift key and to switch between input languages you can actually choose this you can choose the one you want really so I'll just say switch input language or switch keyboard layout left alt shift no it's just control shift and control shift no control shift like that this is okay and just apply and you are 
done with the keyboards well if you have something else set to something else on your computer you can just change it right here and that is basically it for today guys thank you very much for watching this video on how to add multiple keyboards uh... it really helped if it, this video helped you rate it five stars and subscribe to my videos if it didn't just rate it one star i mean if i'm really bad you think so so thank you very much for watching guys this was comp help